Hi, I'm KB Kwan. In today's video, I want to show you how to make a Chinese style roast chicken. Now, in the Chinese restaurant, the chef will usually hang up the chicken first to make sure the chicken is dry enough before he puts it into the oven. Why? Because he wants to make sure that the skin is very crispy. But you can do this at home, but it may be a little bit troublesome to find a place to hang up a chicken for the whole day. So in this video, I'm going to show you the more defined method that you can do it at home easily and yet you can produce the same quality as you can get it from the Chinese restaurant. So let's dive in and see how you can achieve this. Today, I would like to show you how to make a Cantonese style roast chicken. You may think that roast chicken is something that is very easy to do, and in fact it is. But in order to make this chicken to become very crispy, you need to know a few tricks. And today, I'm going to show you all the tricks. In order to make the skin very crispy, we have to dry the chicken first before we marinate the chicken. So this is the method. And this is how we do it. Get a hook, hook up the chicken, and hang it somewhere for about one to two hours. It will become fully dry. Alternatively, if you do not have a place to hook it up, what you can do is just buy any canned food, just like what I'm doing, I buy a can of sardine, remove the paper outside, and insert it into the cavity of the chicken, and leave it upright, and you can put it onto a plate, and then leave it in the refrigerator if you have sufficient time, if not, just place it near to the air con or a fan, and it will dry up by no time. Then you can proceed to the next step to marinate the chicken. We are not only using one type of marinade, but two marinades. This one is the first set of the marinade. Honey, and we add in some salt, soy sauce. Fine spices powder. And honey is going to caramelize the skin and make the color of the skin very very nice. And it also definitely adds flavor to the skin. It's the second marinade. Salt, a little bit of fine spices powder, and some brown Sichuan peppercorn. Now look at this one. This is all just dry mix. We are going to use this to marinate the inner cavity of the chicken. Alright, this is the chicken that has been in the refrigerator for 2 hours. So, it's quite dry now. And I'm going to take out the, my sardine. Yes, right. This is the dry marinade that I have. What you need to do is just put everything inside and use your hand to, to apply onto it so that it nicely distributes the inner surface of the cavity. You can always use your glove if you want to, but my hand is clean so I'm going to use my hand for this purpose. Then you have the second one that is the mixture of honey, soy sauce, some sugar and some spice spices. Just pour over it. And Try not to let it go into the inner cavity. Turn it over and put the remainder onto it. And use your hand to distribute all the marinades evenly. And place it on it again and let it dry for at least 12 hours or overnight. And usually it is best to leave it just in your refrigerator. 
Have a look at this chicken that has been marinated for the past 24 hours. The chicken now is very dry. If you if you touch it, it feels like touching a piece of leather. So let's take it out. I'll remove my sardine can again. Get a knife, clean hand, and I'll show you one more trick before we start to put it into the oven. We try to detach the skin from the breast itself so that the skin will become very very thin like a piece of paper. Definitely something that is paper thin it is going to be very crispy and that's how we want to do it. So cut a little bit here, insert the knife inside, be careful not to break it and slowly maneuver into it, slowly. Now you can see that the skin is already detached from this side. Alright, and we want to do the other side also. Find somewhere at the back and insert the knife into it and slowly maneuver into it. If you find this too difficult, don't go too far because you may break the skin and it is not going to be <laughs> So now things is done and we can proceed to roast the chicken. Before you put the chicken into the oven, thrust the chicken. So that's how we do it. Get a string or a twine, place it underneath and tie it this way so that it will tie just over here. Okay, make it very tight and bring the twine up and across the end of the legs. Then you pull it over this way. Go down this way so that the twine will prevent the wing from protruding out. Right? And tie over the neck this way. I normally use the commercial oven in my restaurant but for today, I just want to try whether it is alright if I'm just going to use a very simple home use oven so right before we put it into the oven apply some oil to both sides my portable oven has heated up to about 220 degrees Celsius top and bottom elements. For 20 minutes to brown the chicken. Already 20 minutes. And place it onto my chopping board. And at the same time, I'm going to brush some oil on it. Turn it over and put additional oil onto the other side and thereafter I'm going to put it back into the oven and reduce the temperature from 220 degrees Celsius down to 160 degrees Celsius for another one and a half hours. Let's see how my chicken performs in this small portable oven as compared to my commercial oven in my restaurant. Okay, looks good. Thanks for joining me today in this video presentation. And I hope now you have a beautiful roast chicken in front of you. And until next time, keep cooking Asian food and I will see you again. Bye for now.